So Aberdeen has obviously a, a legacy on oil and gas and, and a lot of history in the last decades, but now uh, we are embracing this energy transition and the university as a part of the region is, is absolutely leading, leading these chains. I think one of the, the things that I really like the most uh, in this environment is the fact that even though my, my drive could be a research drive, uh, we actually interact with the students and, and we have to focus on how we can nurture the new generation of, of researchers and of engineers in this case, but also in scientists in general. Some projects we have at the moment is, for example, working on, on new fuel cells that can operate at low temperatures. And, and this is a work that we do with some of the students in the prototype team to get um, uh, fuel cells using hydrogen for uh, vehicles. Prototau is a team run by students at University of Aberdeen. We come together to build a hydrogen car. Shell Eco Marathon is an annual competition. Students from all over the world come together to build cars, which can be a prototype or, or urban, and it can be either running on hydrogen, electric, or diesel. So the car is a prototype, which means it runs on three wheels, and the main engine is a fuel cell. So hydrogen goes to the fuel cell, it goes through electrolysis, produces electricity, and then the byproduct is water, which is pretty efficient. Being part of the School of Engineering, we had a lot of support from the professors and we were able to benefit from their research in hydrogen. I'm a chemical engineering student and I have been working on a summer project on um, energy harvesting materials. This is very relevant when thinking about renewables and uh, our goal is to achieve net zero on time. Although our focus was all on solar energy, this is key to find better electrolytes for batteries that are more efficient and for storage solutions that will be used in the future for hydrogen storage. One of the exciting things that are coming uh, soon is uh, the development of a new hydrogen dedicated lab here at the school, at the university in 2022, which is going to be the first dedicated lab in the area. And this is going to provide the students the opportunity to play a little bit with these new technologies, but also the companies to come here and develop their own ideas.